Today I'm cooking bread. Actually, I'm cooking some stuff with some bread. So I have this bread dough. Uh, pretty typical bread dough, except I added eggs and sugar to make it a little bit uh, richer in taste and texture, which we will see as I prepare it. Also, there's kind of a face on it. Ooh, creepy. So what I've done is I've added some things on top. I've added some cream cheese, some margarine, some chives, some oregano, and some parsley. Uh, the margarine, of course, is just so I can dissolve some of those ingredients because even when the cream cheese melts, it's not going to be super, super melty. And uh, now I'm going to cover it up. I'm not going to try to fold it over. I'm going to try to kind of fit the bread over that saucy filling. So it's not very photogenic, it just looks like a big blob, but it will taste a lot better. And it's pretty thin on top, almost transparent, so hopefully it won't volcano out, but I want it to be kind of thin around that filling. So I'm going to put that on the tray, and then I'm going to make something kind of the same, but kind of different. So this one is kind of the same idea, but with savory ingredients, along with the cream cheese, I have chocolate chips, brown sugar, cinnamon, and a little bit of margarine. And maybe I got greedy and overheaped them, so hopefully I can close this up before I put it in the oven. It's pretty good there. Uh, it's sometimes hard to tell how bread will swell up and close up and join together. Hopefully this won't volcano either, but if it does, hey, that's okay with me. So just because I'm feeling adventurous, I have two Reese's peanut butter cups, and I'm just going to wrap them up in dough and see what happens. So there they are on the tray too, looking all cute. So we have savory, sweet, Reese's peanut butter cups, and then finally the rest of the dough I'm just going to make into a little normal roll. They are all ready to go into the oven, just 350 degrees heat, and uh, we'll find out how this goes. Also another thing, um, all of this together cost me between 2 and $3 to make, including the peanut butter cups. Um, everything else was just ingredients I had on hand, and flour is really cheap, even when it's from Trader Joe's. Okay, so let's see how this goes. Well, somebody has an opinion about it already. Uh, I live in a half basement apartment, so I don't get good ventilation and my smoke alarm goes off easily. Just pulled them out of the oven. Um, they didn't break. They're nicely browned on the bottom, so it looks like they're cooked to the perfect tendency. The Reese's pieces did, the Reese's peanut butter cups did leak a little, but that's just kind of part of the charm. And so I think it turned out really good. I just have to let it cool down. Um, so this isn't really a recipe. This is just, you know, bread dough, and then you put some stuff in it. Not really rocket science. You don't have to be cooking by the book. Um, this is in Iceland. Uh, and it's a really good meal. Not exactly a low calorie meal, but, uh, you know, I, I think we're allowed our indulgences and it's uh, fun to bake. So I will be enjoying those and uh, feel free to make your own. Tell me how it goes.